It's Gold Rush Day here at the College of William and Mary. The tribe is on a roll as they host a Delaware team searching for their first conference win of the year. Force the defense to chase. Monte Ross noting for us today that they run even after made baskets. And there's a made basket by the man we featured at the top, Omar Pruitt. One of the four of their five guys, anyone but Sheldon that starts, gets the uh, outlet they can start to bring. Cole knocks down the three. Birchfield at his spot. No. Malinowski, though, hustles in. And the putback and one. Corey Holden thought about it. Now we'll back it up. Then goes on the attack and finishes. That is what Corey Holden can do so well. That Delaware had three good looks in a row. They've got to be able to finish one of those. Pruitt hanging in the paint and drops that home. Holden comes down and fires over the top of Daniel Dixon. So Corey Holden now. Six-point ball game with 4.30 to go. Omar Pruitt, though, changes all of that. Is everybody good? We okay? Yeah, nice. <laughs> I'm just glad he was down a few feet because <laughs> yeah. a few more feet inches this way would have been all over us. Back-to-back -back threes for Connor Birchfield. King Davis gets his own miss. The hard work, but the rejection inside by Jack Whitman. I really thought that possession William & Mary got away with when I thought King Davis got fouled on that shot. Birchfield was sitting there at the three-point line and quickly rejects Sheldon inside. Cohn, the ball fake, and finds an open Omar Pruitt. All over him, the shot clock has gotten down to five. And Holden ends that with another attack to the rack. Tarpey with the pull-up. Sheldon, the easy putback, and that will not set well with Monte Ross. Are well, how much it. he enjoys being around them. You see it. I mean, these guys are competing. They're trying. They're just outmanned each and every night. As you see a back to a cut, that possession by Melanowski. Al Koken and Ron Thompson here with you in Williamsburg, Virginia. Thanks to all the men and women in our NBCSN crew for bringing you this afternoon as Terry Tarpey from Stanford, Connecticut. Tarpey was wide open because William & Mary came off the pick and roll. And here he does what he does best, a steal and the flush finish. Defensively <laughs> for William & Mary. But King Davis couldn't finish inside. The throwback, and finally, Maurice Jeffers cleans it up. Now, is that been of their or lack of luck that they've had this game? A point blank range, still unable to make it. For one of their best players, there is Connor Birchfield at shoot around today. Even Very closely looking for, you know, uh, a, a chink in the armor. And these guys are competing and giving you everything they have. Tarpey, as he's falling out of bounds, gets the finish. And there is Terry Tarpey. Well, the final score here in Williamsburg, Virginia. William and Mary, 90. The Blue Heads of Delaware, 64. It's a pressure cooker. As a loser goes home, winner takes all. If you can get the trophy at the end of the weekend, then you get to go to the big dance. When you finally get to cut down the nets, there's really nothing like that. March Madness returns to Baltimore for the 2016 CAA Men's Basketball Championship. Be there March 4th through 7th at the Royal Farms Arena as the second season begins for 10 teams chasing their dreams of playing in the NCAA tournament. CAA fans can find the best seats by visiting caasports.com.